Reserve, gentleman from Massachusetts. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the gentleman from Texas for yielding me the customary 30 minutes, and I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate uh, our Republican colleagues on finally releasing their big plan to end inflation. What a day. We've all been home for two weeks. We know inflation is a big problem. We hear about it at the supermarket. We see it in our communities. It's a global pro pro a problem impacting every single country. Now, over the last two years, Democrats here in the House, alongside President Biden, have taken aggressive action to fight inflation and lower prices. And at every step, Republicans have voted no, no, no. At every step, they've boasted about their own alternative, comprehensive plan to stop inflation in its tracks. It's got to be big. It's got to be really big. Can't wait to read it. Wow, wait until you hear about the Republican plan to stop inflation in its tracks. But forgive me if I'm confused today, because after months of waiting with bated breath, after all your announcements and after all your press releases and all your tweets about inflation, we finally find out that your big plan, what your big plan to stop inflation really is. Your big bill to, to address the American people's number one concern. It's a report. More government paperwork. Great. I mean, will people be able to print out the report and trade it in for cheaper gas or lower food prices? Because unless they can, and I'm not an economist here, but I don't think this is going to make a difference. The bill, and I hesitate to call it a bill because it might as well be a tweet or a press release, does nothing. Maybe it should be an amendment to an actual bill that fights inflation. Just a suggestion. But don't try to pass this off as a real plan. Don't pretend this actually does anything. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for my Republican colleagues, to be honest. Two years to put this together, the number one issue for the American people, and this is what they come up with, a book report on inflation. It reminds me of the time last year when they tried to solve crime with a report. This is what happens when you try to write a bill for Twitter instead of a bill that actually helps everyday people. And the audacity, the sheer audacity of saying that all this inflation was caused by President Biden, when the guy before him added nearly $8 trillion to the national debt, when the guy before him presided over a 39% increase in the national debt, when the guy before him accumulated 25% of the total debt in American history. The hypocrisy is incredible. Now, just contrast that with what Democrats did to rein in inflation and lower costs for people. Democrats capped insulin at $35 per month. Democrats reduced the price of prescription drugs for seniors. Democrats, for the first time in history, are making sure that big pharma faces penalties for raising their prices faster than inflation. Democrats are saving families money with special tax credits for making good investments. All things that Republicans voted against. 100% of Republicans voted against reducing prescription drug prices. 100% of them voted against cheaper insulin for our senior citizens. 100% of them voted against lower gas prices. I guess we could give them some credit because only 95% of them voted against lower food prices. Now maybe, and hear me out here, maybe Republicans don't want to solve inflation. Maybe they know that addressing inflation means taking on greedy CEOs, big oil and billionaire corporations. Maybe they know it means standing up to Putin who is driving up energy prices with his war in Ukraine. Maybe Republicans are too, too scared to fight inflation. But Democrats are ready to go to bat against corporate greed because we stand with everyday families who are being hurt by rising costs. Today, Leader Jeffries is introducing the PRO Act, a bill empowering workers to unionize and hold their employers accountable for improper work practices. Because while Republicans continue standing with the billionaire corporations responsible for price gouging, Democrats stand with workers hurt by inflation. We support their right to organize for better wages. And instead of wasting time writing a bill that only requires a book report on inflation, we spent the last two years taking action to actually stop inflation 
in the long term by bringing jobs and manufacturing back to America. Democrats secured over $300 billion in investments in U.S. manufacturing to move supply chains back to America. We voted to lower food and fuel prices, made the most robust updates in 70 years to the Buy American Act to boost domestic manufacturing, enacted the Ocean Shipping Reform Act to cut costs for American families and bring down shipping prices oversaw the largest one-year decrease in the federal deficit in American history. That's the Democratic record. Now, we don't claim it's perfect. Prices are still too high. Inflation is hurting people. I know it. Joe Biden knows it. Democratic leadership knows it. So there's a difference here. There's a difference here, and it's a big one. Democrats are fighting for the families being hurt by inflation and taking on the greedy corporations who are driving prices up. And Republicans, their solution is to blame Democrats, blame Biden, and write a book report. Now, I guess when you have no plans, when you have no real ideas, you'll do anything to say you did something. And that's all this is, a talking point, a press release, and a total waste of time. Apparently, the bar is on the ground for this new House majority. And it's a real shame. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves his time.